most translations of the scriptures, the word giant actually comes from two distinct terms in Hebrew. Nephilim, fallen ones, fallen angels called watchers, and Geborim, mighty ones, superhuman demigods, half human and half angel. The word giant actually comes from the Greek gigantes, which can mean mighty ones, not necessarily large humans, but from this we get the words giant and gigantic. Gigantes this actually means earthborn, a distinction made to them denoting their hybrid miscegenation of heavenly and earthly. From these Gaborim came forth demon spirits who possessed people trying desperately to be in the flesh again since theirs was destroyed in the great flood and burned to ash in Sodom and Gomorrah. Giant humans do not fit in with any evolution theory and is ignored much by the churches. It proves of a time when mortal and spiritual beings cohabited together and terrible things happened on earth. If there were angels, there was a creator, and any evolution theory is a fantasy. And we are faced with an even larger problem. Scriptures tell us Nephilim were here, and were again after that, and will be again at the end of days. How many legends and how many cultures speak of giant humans? The story of David and Goliath is one of the best known stories about a giant. Goliath was a descendant of King Og of Bashan who was a descendant of the Rephaim. and the border of Og, sovereign of Bashan, who was of the remnant of the Rephaites, who dwelt at Ashtoreth and at Edri. Archaeologists working at a site named to be the home of Goliath unearthed a piece of pottery bearing his name on it. Every culture, the world over, has legends of giants. They're known by various names. The Greeks had giants, and their old legends said that their gods and giants were from the Middle East. The Celts and Teutonics have numerous stories about giant elves and trolls. Their chief deity called Odin or Woden, they also called Baal or Got. This god gave them a warning that toward the end of time a great battle called Ragnarok would be fought, in which he, Odin, would be destroyed. Assyrian gods were giants. Babylonian gods were giants. This medallion from Turkey shows a giant deity looking similar to the amazing Nimrod doggy sculptures of the mountains of Turkey.
from the Egyptians. To Africa. Even the ancient Hindus had giant mighty ones. Giants are recorded many times in history. What about acromeglia? Acromeglia makes parts of the body larger than others because of excessive bone growth, eventually killing the diseased individual at an early age. Would you call such a person a god? We're talking about beings twice the size of recorded gigantism or acromeglia cases and well enough proportion for everyday life, healthy enough, at least by the heathen, to be considered gods. 